hello guys in this video i am going to introduce you a very interesting project called as casa os casa os is your personal cloud on your own computer no matter what you are running even you can run it on your older computers you can run it on edge devices what devices wherever you like the back story of this casa os is very interesting somewhere around 2020 the team behind this tool casa os Notice that the cost of computing power and storage was decreasing and the cloud computing was sort of moving towards the edge devices or on-prem. Based on these trends, they came up with this thought experiment that how about creating a personal cloud for everyone on a fraction of cost. And then what they did was they also distributed this collaborative computing network which was comprised of personal servers located around the world. It could also control and connect all smart devices, providing cross ecosystem and with local intelligent services. Another cool AI context feature is that the personal cloud could combine personal data to train personalized AI assistant. The idea is that this technology would be an effective way to solve the issue of consumer data asset ownership and as well as provide a more affordable and efficient computing solution for individuals and small organizations. There are a lot of features of this CASA OS. For example, it has very, very friendly user interface. You don't have to learn any coding, no forms. It's very intuitive and it is designed for everyone. It runs on anywhere, old computer, Raspberry Pi, NUC, Zima board, wherever you like. And then it also has its own ecosystem of apps, which gets installed by a single click. And there are hundreds of them and that list is growing very, very rapidly. And I think not hundreds, I think it is now uh, thousands of them. And as per one estimate, maybe more than 100,000 apps. It has very elegant drive and file management. There is no technical background required to manage your storage. Also, um, your resource usage, your app status, it's very, very clear and uh, nice to follow up. In this video, we are going to install this CASA OS on our system. I'll be using my Ubuntu Linux, but as I said, you can install it anywhere. So feel free to follow the same instructions. Let me take you to my Linux machine, which I'm going to use for it. So this is the machine which I'm going to use the VM. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Mass Compute for sponsoring the VM and the GPU, which I'm going to use for this video. They have provided this Ubuntu 22.04 and the GPU card which I am going to use for it is this NVIDIA RTX A6000. By the way, in order to install CASA OS, you don't need a GPU. So don't worry about it if you don't have a GPU. Let me clear the screen. And another thing I would highly suggest to you have just to keep everything separate is to install Anaconda or Miniconda. As you can see, I already have it. So first up, let me create a um, conda environment here and the command is very simple i'm just going to run conda create dash n with the environment name and it is going to create the environment for me very very quickly so let's wait for it to be done that is done and now let me activate the environment and let me clear the screen so that is all done now the installation of CASA OS is very simple. All you need to do is to run this wget and then get casaos.io sudo bash, press enter. And then you can see that it has checked everything that hardware is fine, system is fine, and my distribution is fine. And then it is installing all the packages, it is processing the triggers, all the dependencies are being installed. So let's wait to, for it to finish. Should not take too long? And it is going to take a bit of a time because it installs so much stuff. So give it a go. And then you can see that now after installing everything, it is starting all the local services, which include user services, storage, and all that stuff. It should not take too long from here. And you see it is all good and running. And now you can access it um, in your browser at this address. So let me, maybe I'll click here. Just. Maybe copy this and go to my browser in the same system. 
this is my browser i'm just going to open it here yes so let me copy it again and you see that i have opened it on this and then it is just giving me a welcome screen and then you can create your own account you can click on go and i'm just going to call it maybe uh, and then i'm just going to give it a very uh maybe i'll just type the password and then resume so let me press on create here and then i'm just going to say not now i'm going to okay, it says that casa dashboard will get the latest news uh blog so i just accepted that is fine but look at this it's a very very fine dashboard you see it has found a, a new dvd network status storage all the status is at one space now you see a open web ui is there but that is for another video i'm going to show you how you can use that but it is so easy to install it and then you can go to its app store you can go to files so if i click on app store <clears throat> these are all the apps which you can install with single click just click on them and it will get installed this is your chatbot ui for ai models you can use with it in the five <clears throat> for example search for olama it is going to show me the olama okay, it's not there yet but i will show you another app very soon uh, in the next video we will be installing olama plus open web ui together so i'm not going to merge it in this video and there are a lot of ai applications too there are even some databases like maria db light db which you can select so all in all amazing amazing stuff you can even go with the custom install here by checking few of them so i'm just going to click on this cross and then if you click on files you will see that all of these your files are arranged very very nicely click on back button and then it will take you there click on this cross and you will be here it's all browser based you don't have to worry about it for example you want to know more about system status just click here cpu ram what exactly is being used this is our storage and then there are a lot of other data which you can use here so you can of course you know set your widgets too so you can select more widgets you can add subtract widgets and all that stuff so this is just your own operating system your own personal personalized cloud running on your own system in the next video i will be showing you how you can use it with olama with open web ui with a new tool which i will be sharing in the next video i will drop the link to this casa os in video description let me know what do you think a fun fact casa st stands for house in spanish so casa os seems like a very fine name that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.